I am Felicia Muhammad, your spiritual life and business transformation specialist and facilitator, healer, HLIC CAS member, Awakening Dynamics certified practitioner and instructor and president of Oneness Wellness Foundation. Who am I and what do I do? I help us to know how, welcome, is my Francisco. I help us to know how to release the baggage, the baggage. And when I talk about baggage, I'm talking about the limiting beliefs, the negative self-talk, the low self-esteem, the, the stuff that keeps us stuck, okay, in our family, finances, society, environment, spirit and mind, body connection, okay? Yes. Help us to release all of that stuff that is keeping us stuck, all right? And how do I help us to do that? I help us to do that by teaching you how to access the subconscious mind, okay? Accessing the subconscious mind so you can be able to check in to know how those limiting beliefs, that negative self-talk is affecting you and causing you to create, constantly create these experiences that keep you in low self-esteem, negative self-talk, okay? So that is a part of who I am and what I do. Welcome, welcome. And that's good you don't have that. That's good. That is good. So uh, for those that don't have it, we also... It affects the areas of your health, your relationships, um, and how you interact with others. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today, what we're going to be discussing is we're going to be talking about what's stopping you from manifesting right now. And this is going to be an open dialogue chat, okay? okay? So I want us to do some feedback. So again, if I have anybody that would like to come in the open seat, feel free to jump in as we talk about what's stopping you from manifesting now. So I want some dialogue. We're going to be really going deep and uh, deep and wide about some of the things that um, that are hindering us from manifesting right now. Manifest, you don't get it. Okay, let me see. Where are you from, Meg? You want to come in the seat so we can chat? You speak English? Welcome, Eric. You're from Morocco. Okay, I plan to come to Morocco real soon. Okay, Eric, and we're going to welcome in Patrick Ramsey. Hey there, Eric. How are you? Uh, hi, Felicia. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, too. Welcome, Eric. Patrick. Hi, Eric. Call me Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey, okay, uh, Hattrick, very good. Hattrick. Very... <clears throat> Hattrick, it's, it's Ramsey, Hattrick is his name. Hattrick. Hattrick and Ramsey. Oh, Ramsey. Oh, Ramsey. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool beans, guys. So what we're going to be talking about and just sharing um, what's stopping us from, what is stopping us from manifesting right now? And what are some of the things that we want to manifest? And what does manifest even mean to us? Okay. I was just going to ask yep. you that. That's exactly what I was What does ask. it mean to you to manifest? So you're going to ask me? Okay, yes. so what manifesting means to me is when we when I encode and decode the word manifest, it is the it is a energetic structure, a creative process by which we by which oops, hold on, let me turn my phone off. Sorry. Okay. Okay, very good. So it's a process by which I have aspirations or things that I want to see, and I'm using um, I'm using my ability. You're looking. To are, are you looking? Co-create. I'm looking internally. Yes, I'm definitely I'm yeah. going internally and looking at uh, what I would like to now begin to co-create a call into existence. That's what I that's when I think about okay. manifesting. That's what it means for me. 
And so I'm using that, the, that the intuitive guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. How about for you, Ramsey? Uh, <clears throat> I was looking up the meaning just to make sure, <laughs> make sure I got it right. I <laughs> say understanding the obvious C syndrome of. I mean, Okay, I'm thinking if I'm <clears throat> understanding what this means, what if I'm understanding it correctly, it's, it's kind of uh, what's stopping you, like getting over hurdles or getting if you mental, 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 mental yeah, blocks. Yeah, to achieving your the to finding uh, fulfillment. How's that? How what's what what is keeping you from finding fulfillment? Good question, <laughs> uh, Felicia. You're frozen. Mm -hmm. Sure, it'll it'll open. Uh, up. But I can still hear Lab you. Lab has been doing okay. that lately. Yeah. Okay. I can still hear you. Felicia, you. you're you you've got such a pr by the, by the way, Felicia, you have a beautiful smile. Thank very, you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, Thank it's you. very yeah. It's very warm. It's very warm and it's engaging. It's very nice. Very good. Thank you. I get that a lot, so I try to be. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Yeah. Good. So, Eric, what is it for you? What is manifesting for you? What is manifesting or what is keeping me Ridiculous. from? Sorry. What's keeping you? Let's go with what's keeping you. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, and it's I, it's a lot of perceptions that I've a lot that I've um, uh, not challenged uh, as effectively as I would like. OK. So when when uh, Ramsey was talking about um, op when he said the word obstacles, mm -hmm. for me the obstacles are uh, anger that I've not let go, okay, or events that I perceive to have occurred a certain way, and the excuses that can occur that can result from holding on to old feelings and not processing them, and uh, when I've tried to, I've done it in a way that was, was very hypercritical. So I was just, while I was trying to get rid of anger, I think the result was that it was very uncomfortable and painful. And I think I associated this process with being, um, with not, with, uh, with being very anxious so I'm learning now how to do it okay. uh, in a way that's more gentle to myself and the people that I've been angry at for so long. It's taken a long time for me to realize that this old anger is self, it's a self perception. And even if I wasn't angry or even if I'm right about my anger, I don't know if it really ch would change anything. So I'd rather be happy then try to be right. And it's taken a long time to get there. Okay. All right. Okay. Does that, make, does that make sense? Thank you for sharing. That's good. Yeah, that, yeah, that does make sense. And even if it didn't make okay, sense good. to me, it was okay. It doesn't have to make sense to me, well, but it I does would, make I sense. Would wa I want to make sure. Yeah. I, it, if it doesn't make sense, I want to um, hear what you heard me say. And so that mm -hmm. we can, because I think it's an, I think a lot of people, not everybody, but I think a lot of people hold on to old things yeah. unintentionally. So. Right, right. That's true. Okay. All right. Now, Hattrick, did you think of anything, any of the obstacles that are keeping you from having be, living your best life? Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of a difficult one. I suppose it's just trying to... Yeah. Um, obstacles. I, I suppose I, I do. I'm, I'm actually going through a bit of a mental block stage at the moment because there's things I know I need to do, but I'm not actually. I'm. I've lost. I'm going through a bit of a con, not not kind of comfort. I'm very. A business. I'm, you know, business goes through peaks and troughs, and I think I'm going through one of those troughs. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to. Rack my, rack, I'm trying to rack my brains and maybe I'm just I'm actually emotionally exhausting myself maybe and I'm trying to stop me from going forward. Well, Ramsey, Ramsey, the troughs are what gives you something to 
appreciate the peaks when you're there. So I'm going through a bit of a, a, a down area at the moment, but rather eventually we'll get up get up to the peaks again. Just uh Are you depressed or is it your business? I have struggled not do, I have struggled with depression point. in the past. I have had it. I know what it's I know what the symptoms are. I probably feel like I'm going through a few symptoms at the moment, but I'm trying to battle it. The only way to do it is to fight through it. It's not easy, but I'm just trying to talk, uh, I'm just gonna go through the motions. Sometimes you just gotta go through it and eventually you get out of it. <laughs> Well, what okay. does it mean to fight the symptoms? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead and finish saying what you were saying. What, what, what? When you say you're fighting the symptoms, what does that me. mean? I've been, I've, I'm going through a, uh, I've been going through a, a four years of very severe depression. So I, am, I'm hearing what you're saying, and I want to understand. Uh, depression is all about it's mind over matter, and it's understanding the source of what is. Uh, it's <clears throat> understanding what is analyzing. It's analyzing what's causing you to be depressed. What's uh, stop? And that's why, what's the, what's the source? And I think I know what you're saying by mind over matter, but I almost think it's matter over mind because I think it's the mind that misinterprets the matter both, and creates but, but, the no, trouble. It, it, depending, you've got to analyze. You've got to. It's more your. It's what's. You've got to think. Right? Why am I depressed? Why? Why am I? Um, struggling moment i'm thinking right i'm going through that i'm going through his motions for a reason and i don't often go through them sometimes it's maybe something's about uh, i don't know i just uh something's going, going to happen or something i don't know I've, I've had hey i don't know but sometimes when you do feel down and you feel str you're struggling a little bit emotionally you have to kind of think well why you have to analyze in your head right what am i what is actually causing me to be depressed what's what's happened in my life which is causing me to be depressed What's going on? In, uh, what? How can I resolve what's going on? How can I sort what's going on in my life? Just stop. do you um do you process these things with anybody that you're? I do have with? people I can talk to, but it's, it's just I, um yeah, I just had a I, I'm I, yeah I'm, I know how to, I rec I I that's helped me a lot. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else, but the connection. Has, with people that I that I really value, has provided me with some empathy. Uh, with is provided has come from a place of empathy, and not judgment, and mm -hmm. has and has really helped me put things in order and make a lot of progress quickly. So Ramsey, and let me ask you learned, this: What are? Can you hear me, Ramsey? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Can okay okay good, um. So what are some of the things that you are grateful for? What are some of the things that bring you joy? Um. Wow. <laughs> um. Bring me joy. I think I just. I know you're not. Sometimes you just can't think what brings you joy at the moment because you're having that kind of sort of hmm, okay, because you're. I think I just feel I'm actually I think I'm probably maybe my body I think probably my main is my body is probably still tired because I went I went I went on a holiday and I wasn't well I had shingles and I had to sort of get over that and oh, then I got I'm rid sorry, of them. I, I got on a holiday to rest which is you know, I got rid of them and I had I felt I walked around a lot and I came back from from holiday after two weeks and I went back to work and I still felt a bit drained maybe uh, not quite as energetic and getting work done. I kind of I knew I'd work. I was losing some work because they, the clients were moving to different offices. Uh, I, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of just maybe I'm not hundred percent better yet after having shingles. It can take a wee while to kind of get yourself back on track. Maybe that's that's what it is. I don't know. Um, get feeling a bit more energetic, but slowly but surely, I could just be that. I don't know. So. So it might just be your could recovery be. from something and getting back. It could, it's very well could be. Uh, I hope that's what it is. And then it's just a couple of days and yeah. you'll be up and running. You and I spoke once in, uh, in the past. She'll come back in. You and I spoke once in the past and you seemed more, um, not necessarily, your affect wasn't different, but you were, you were right. in a better place, I think, mm -hmm. physically. 
It must have been before your bout with shingles, which I know can be very I'll, I'll get there. I just need to get my mind. I've got a thing. I think it is. I've got a couple of things I need to do, and I need to just get them done. And once they're done, it'll probably be a bit more easier. I've just got to sit down and do them. Like cool. So I'll well, get there. Cool. Yeah, my depression. My depression is was has been much different than yours. It was. It was. Uh, you, like you. You have a, a sense of hope and the processes that you're going to be going through to get yourself, you know, back on track. And it could even be something that is just the product of being physically tired. Apparently from what I'm hearing you say for, for me, it was the culmination of a long time of not addressing certain things and putting it off. And I don't hear that from you. So my depression became chronic. It sounds like yours is a situation. What, 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 was, what was yours? What was caused yours? Well, like I was saying earlier, I mean, the details are personal, but it was, it was, uh, um, the, without, uh, without saying uh, details, why don't you give me, I was very angry about things and I was blaming other people for some difficulties that I've always yeah. had. And I never, I, and I, and I've got some other health issues, but it, it, they're, they're really secondary it was just a, a poor, a, 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 an inaccurate perception of several things. And it just got to a point where things became unmanageable uh, for me. And I, and it was hard to get out of that because I had been conditioned for so long just to believe certain things were a certain way. And once I started being able to let go of that need to be in control uh, and judgmental of other people, the depression is is becoming much less. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess uh, complete. It's like breaking up now, and I'm and I'm feeling. I can see the progress that's being made. It it took me having other people to get to to talk with. I was isolated. One thing, I think maybe it's because I mean I, I'm thinking it's probably I, I used I used to have a lot of friends. A lot of people I used to be quite so, uh, sociable. You know, I didn't go to church at the time, but I made a mistake by, and the church kind of treated me. I made a mistake by, I got, I was having a, a casual relationship with a girl, and she got pregnant. Right. And uh, when I say a girl, female, a woman who was twenty eight, but it was all a bit of a kind of the scenario, and they treated me like dirt. And uh, so they judged you. They pretty much, but also I lost a lot of people who I thought were friends who I used to be quite close to, but. He basically wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire, and it kind of I realised that I'm not say my work. I'm not really getting much social time these days, and I'm not seeing many people I mean, because my, I'm pretty much I go to work, I come up, come home, or either on blab or I'm I'm meeting people via this, but it's not really like connect proper like out and about uh, instead of in front of a computer screen. Um, mm -hmm. But it's maybe that is because I'm realising I need to get something. I need something needs to change um, to be more be in company of people again because I, I, I know when I'm with people I can I, I, I tend to things become better just because I've got more communication going on I said yeah there's no there, there's no substitute for that kind of connection right. I agree with you there really isn't mm -hmm. um and and in some ways it, it's not it's I, it doesn't have to be a substitute but I think something like lab offers a lot of satisfaction in 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 because you get to talk to people from all over the world yeah yeah and I happen to find that very stimulating. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's not a. It shouldn't be the a substitute for be, having a, a a life where you're out and about and experiencing things. But I'm enjoying the time. You know, I, I'm trying to enjoy it as best as much as as possible, and and to do it in a. And what I find enjoy enjoyable is when I'm having conversations with people. Mm -hmm. And it's a conversation that doesn't have judgment, but it's a conversation that builds understanding. That inspires me. Um, and that, to me, brings joy because it's, it's, it's being a respectful and it, uh, there's people that I, 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 come, I come from a Jewish background and I have conversations with people of faith and I'm not religious. It's a secular Jewish background. But I've spoken with some Muslim people that at the beginning of the conversation wanted to convert me. And, but when I told them why I was uncomfortable with, 
with that direction of the conversation, we were able to talk about them and their lives aside from their religion. And that allowed me to understand them. And it became a, it's become a much better dialogue. And I, I like to make situations like that um, uh, positive or, or uh, building bridges. Well, I kind of, for me, kind of get me out, usually get me out of this frame of mind or how I usually uh, deal with it or just deal with what I'm, I just, well, in the past, it's sort of, you say to yourself, well, do I want to be like, do I want to be like this the rest of my life? Do I want to be depressed and moping? And the answer is no. So it kind of gives you a bit of a kick to try and get out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the direction I had been going and I, and I got a lot of help and support and it does make a difference when you get out of your own head. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, that's what it is. He's back. Ah, there's, there's the start of the show. Yes. Okay, so can you hear me now? Is it better? Yeah. yeah. Yes, and mm-hmm. I can tell that the um, that it's not lagging as much, if at all. Okay, good. Good, good. Very good. Okay. Ramsey, Ramsey is cool, Felicia. Good. I'm going to go back and listen to the replay. Yes. Very <laughs> Very uh, honest, very straightforward person, um, and he he explains his feelings in a way that's very easy to understand. Okay, so I was hearing the depression conversation from you know relative to how both of you all are processing it, and Ramsey, yeah. what I was wanting to ask was, what are some of the things? And I think you were starting to answer it before my computer went out. Uh, what are some of the things that? as a child you used to do that brought you that you had fun doing what were some of the things as a child you used to have fun doing crumbs huh. remembering that far <laughs> uh <laughs> my goodness uh Jane, i didn't i wasn't i didn't do much crumbs i wasn't um i just need to get i think i just need to start getting time structure in my life i just need to structure things a bit better that's what i need to do that's okay, so I can't think about the child. I can't really think about stuff at the moment. Th- My brain's a bit fried. So, yeah, that's exactly. I, I bet if at another time you would come up with I a million come up with stuff, but I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. would you be willing right now to 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 be open for a shift or do a meditation so we can get the fog, get the clarity out the mind? Felicia, I think he's really tired, though. That's I'm tired, thing. actually. I'm I, a bit tired today, but be, I just I think I just need to wind, wind my, I just need to wind down a bit. Actually, I need to just watch a, pro, a TV program or something. And I'll just kind of wind down. That's what I usually do. And I got my bed, and I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, that's what, yeah but I'm, I'm. You know, I get. I. So you need to go to sleep. <laughs> well, I, I, know, I just like, sometimes yeah. I need to wind myself down a bit, and that's once I do that, I can sort of just. I'm feel I feel all right. Yeah. Just sometimes this sleep is the main is the, the best treatment sometimes just for it. Yeah, you need to get some rest. Morning, you know? Yeah. It resets it resets the brain. Yeah. Uh, it really does. And and I'm not I, I've not been sleeping properly for several years and I'm getting better about it now and mm-hmm. it's helping me function better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'll I'll be fine. I'm just gonna get my finger out and start get myself a bit of a kick, you know. And I, and eventually snap out of it. It's fine. It's cool. Well, <laughs> have a good meal. Sorry. Yes, you know, Ram. Eat something, eat something really just, healthy but, but satisfying. It is almost ten o'clock here. It's twenty to ten. Okay, so yeah, get you some rest. Yeah, just good to be I'm just tired from being up last week. And it's just yeah, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. Um, well, but hey, what I'll do is I'll let you guys uh, chat away, and I'll. Uh, I, well, I'm actually going to run because I have a dog that wants to G-O-O-U-T. Okay. I can't say it, though, because oh, okay. otherwise it'll oh. turn it. My, yeah, she turns into a tornado. Okay. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. So, all right. Well, thank you, guys. I'm glad I, this platform provided you all an exchange, a good exchange. Yeah. yeah. Very much. Nice to meet you. Ramsey, Same nice here. Nice to see you again. And we'll do this again soon. Yes, maybe we somebody will. else will come in soon. So yeah, oh yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll tweet it. Let's tweet it out. So maybe we yeah, can tweet it out. People. Yeah, there you go. There go. I just tweet told a little. Out. It says I just told a little bird. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Felicia. Be well. All right, you too. Yeah. Bye bye. And bye. we're following bye-bye, each Ramsey. other, so yeah, that's good. All right. Oh. 
Anyway, I'll uh, catch up with you at some point. Okay, yeah, so we can help you with that, Ramsey. You don't have to hold on to it. And it doesn't have to be hard, and it doesn't have to take long. Meditation. I've done meditation before. I'm not really a fan. Yeah, of you would love it. You would love it. It's a way to just relax and get the stress up off of you. And so you can clear the fog that's in the mind so it can function properly. Because mm -hmm. all that other stuff, yeah. It's, right. You see the results of it. So you might as well try something new. You don't have anything to lose. <laughs> but uh, to get some rest and get some get some release. Uh, and yeah. feel a little lighter. True. You okay. know. Very true. Yeah. Cool. Well, all right. Okay. Take it easy. And I'll catch Take you. Take care. You too. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Welcome, Mihe. Free business for Z. You there? How are you? Do you speak English? To live your day, not uh, not thinking in the future. This is make you make you. I'm not good at English. I I'm. Late. It's okay. I speak Arabic, so. What's my reason to use this? Uh, by also, uh, by the way, this is the first time I'm using this website. So, uh, I I decided oh, to. Oh, well, welcome it. to Blab. Yes, this is a wonderful platform. Uh, by chance, I I knew about it, so it. I said it's a good tool to improve my English when I have some conversations with uh, with native speakers like you, I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are native speaker, English native speaker. Can or... you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Yes. Are you, nat are yes. you native speaker? Mm -hmm. Am I native what? Native speaker. Yes. Mm. Uh, as as you can see and hear, I I, I have some troubles and speak in English, especially mm -hmm. when what's come to, to 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 show the others my ideas. Sometimes, even in the university now, I sometimes it's come in the class. I have great ideas to to share with the professor. But, uh, I have troubles to express myself in English. I'm very strong in Arabic, so I have big ideas about <laughs> about your topic. But uh, in English, uh, I will I will face I will face some troubles. But I will try. I will try. Yes, try. Yes, try. Yes, try. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm listening. <laughs> but so maybe it's it's good to start by your uh, topic to to get involved in the conversation more. Yes. So, what's so I... as I go ahead. No, you. <laughs> what's your idea about? <laughs> Okay, so what we're talking about is we're talking about what's stopping you from manifesting now. So in the areas of relationships, you know, having the ideal relationship that you would like to have or live or marriage and be together with someone, um, what's stopping you from having that? What's stopping you from having a healthy body? Yes. Okay. You you follow me mm -hmm. so far? Yes. Okay. Um what's what's stopping us from uh you know how in the Quran it says kum fayakun? Yes, kun fayakun. E and it is? Yes. I'm better than kum fayakun. Yes. What's <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so we so are when equally it talks now. about kum fayakun. Be yes. and it is, you know. So what's preventing you from, from creating that reality? Uh, I think it's uh, it's related to, to 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 the events. I I mean maybe to the events that the person face in, in his life. And it depends. You cannot generalize the idea and why you are not uh, mm -hmm. you are not deciding to change yourself. It's not uh, just say saying a word. Uh, mm -hmm. And I I faced this uh, problem with uh, with some 
with some uh, events in my life, especially in the uh, in the educational field. Uh, are you understand? <laughs> Mm -hmm. understand? Yes, I'm understanding. Yes. Uh, yes. Especially in the educational field, when uh, uh, when when a war happened in my country and I was forced to displace from uh, a country to another country and to stop for a uh, one year for uh, uh, learning uh, and have financial uh, problems. Uh, so I maybe the most uh, or the difficult uh, decision was either to either to work to get money for my family or to um, uh, to search for someone uh, who can uh, fin finance my my budget to continue my uh, my education and hopefully alhamdulillah i got a scholarship uh, in the uh, in the university but it's it was uh, uh, horrible. Uh, um, it was horrible. Uh, what's it's called? It, uh, do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Very little. Very little. <laughs> but, uh, 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 could you wait for me to search it about uh, in in Google uh, Translate? <laughs> Yes, no problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the meantime, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> eh, just, just. Yes, uh, go ahead. No problem. Okay, so who do we have? Welcome, well, Mehdi. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the last two years uh, uh, were um, a horrible uh, period of time when I uh, forced to, to, to work uh, uh, to feed my family because uh, we are not in our country. We are now as a refugees, uh, and mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't want I don't want to get out of school. So it was very uh, very difficult uh, to manage or to take the right decision. Should I just work to feed my family in uh, in in current time, or no? I have to strive and. And uh, and search for a, a scholarship, and it was very hard because uh, we we displaced to to Lebanon. Uh, actually, I'm from Syria. We displaced to Lebanon okay. by illegal way. So I I faced a lot of uh, a problem with the government, with the security. Uh, so it was hard to to get a scholarship uh, from uh, abroad because I don't have a password. Uh, okay. Password, sorry. So for one year, uh, I I was searching about a scholarship, and at the same time, I'm working. And as I said, alhamdulillah, hopefully, I got a scholarship, and uh, and in this scholarship, I'm getting a stipend also. So now you can, I'm I'm happy now. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> very good, very good. So that's working out for you. Okay, so. So that was that was an obstacle that so the objective was you wanted to continue your education. You were trying to decide whether to work to because, feed your family or continue your education. So you were able to overcome that obstacle that was in the way of keeping you from getting your education. You made the right because, decision to get your education. Be, uh, I think uh, this is the point I, I want to to uh, uh, to say it to you. Mm -hmm. How uh, or when uh, when does the person uh, can can uh, can strive or can beat the, the difficulties? The only answer when when uh, when he have or when he has a goal in his life. Mm -hmm. Unless I had a goal of, I had uh, uh, always I I I used to to say to myself, you have to continue your education. You have to go. You have to, to help these people. You cannot help these people unless you get, uh, let's say, PhD and get a high a high position in the government in any in any organization. So mm -hmm. I think uh, my goal. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped, helped me, but uh, 
um, also I say you have you have to have a goal in your life yes to to, to strive mm-hmm. Got me? Mm-hmm. yes Got I get it? that yes you said that yes. very well yes this is my point yeah you, ha- very you have good. to have a goal have to have a goal all right so very good thank you Mahmoud for sharing that <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> yeah, <ahla. laughs> yes, yes, you have to have a goal. All right, very good. Very good. That was wonderful. So you did really good. Yeah, a lot of bar. So now that you have that goal, what is your next goal? Uh, uh I Uh, I have, I have. Uh, you can say a main goal in my life uh, is uh, you can say to help people as much as I can. Yani, the more people I help, the more happiness I get. So uh, uh, you can say my goals like a, a stair, yani, uh, step by step. The f- uh, the only step I, I have now is to finish my BA. This is the main okay. step. To finish my VA, um, but now I'm working with some NGOs as a volunteer, especially in education uh, and teaching mm-hmm. Syrian refugees in Lebanon. Um, okay. Maybe 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 Lebanon is 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 the most country uh, that uh, have Syrian refugees now, and this is a big trouble, uh, especially in education, because uh, till now with all the efforts that are being done uh, in Lebanon or, or uh, all the world uh, during to Syrian refugees or to, to children uh, in their mm-hmm. education, 66, mm-hmm. uh, 66% um, of children are out of school with all the, the efforts that are done now. So uh, I'm working as much as I can. Uh, I don't think that I can help them um, uh, so much, but uh, um, uh, how can I say it? Uh, if you do, uh, if you do uh, a little, it's better. Uh, you 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 did uh, you do not uh, you do nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good, good. Well, so good. As I, go ahead. My uh, and my next. Uh, My next uh, goal after BA uh, is to uh, is to work with uh, some NGO. With some what NGO. is your What is your BA in? What are you getting your BA in? Yes. Education. No. Um, As I told, uh, remember my goal. My, my goal. My main goal in this life to help people as uh-huh. much as I can. Because uh, I believe in this statement, you are not alone in this life. Allah mm-hmm. was, uh, Allah cre- created you not to live alone. Allah mm-hmm. cre- created uh, to you to live with with other and to share your powers, uh, your abilities, uh, your um, your knowledge. So uh, uh, remember, my main goal is to help people as much as I can, and I believe you cannot help people. Uh, so much unless you get a high bo- a high position in the government. So, what do you guess my major is? Okay, so a high position in government. So you want to be the president? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Um, why not? Yeah, why not? Um, okay, so remember, remember uh, Felicia. Yes. Uh-huh. Remember, Felicia. Uh, it's not um, imbo- it's not important what is your goal. The most important. Do you believe in your goal? If you believe in your goal, you will get it. Yes. If Allah so will. So you you want to do psychologist? You gonna do? A, you gonna be a psychologist? No. How can I get a high position in the government if I studying <laughs> psychologist? <laughs> You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how I many how you can get in the government knowing the psych being a psychologist. There are some uh, powerful psychologists uh, in the government. You got to know how uh, people think. Uh, listen, I'm studying. So I'm majoring now in 
uh, I'm majoring now in uh, economics and uh, uh, minoring in uh, public administration and uh, media communication. Oh. Media communication. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Because I feel that Very economics, good. the major economy, okay. deal deal with the people, deal with the problem of the society, uh, deal with the needy people. Uh, so I, I choose this uh, major and I'm minoring in public administration because I get, it gives me more knowledge how, how to manage and organize the public institutions in the government. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Thank you so way, much your... for sharing. Uh, I was saying your... very good. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm not in school. <laughs> My major what? in life is I am well, I am in school, the school of life, but I am I work as a uh, and I serve. I help people to I help people with healing, healing their mind, their body, their family, their finances and being showing up as the best person they can be in society. OK, so I help us to know how to access and tap into the subconscious mind. OK, uh -huh. to be able to release those limiting beliefs that are keeping us stuck, that are keeping us in a rut. OK, so you know how in the Quran where it talks about Moses travels with the wise man, right? Well, in the Quran, where it talks about Moses travel with the wise man, Moses kept asking uh, the wise man these questions about why he was doing what he was doing. Right. You remember that story? Uh maybe if you if if you if you uh, told me in arabic maybe i will understand I don't it know, i don't know arabic <laughs> i don't know arabic like that to uh, say could, it could you explain it in in uh, in more detail or or clear clear real way you know, the the story um, do you okay, know so the, the title of the story al kahf uh, the cave the cave. the cave. Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with the cave. Yes, I'm familiar with the cave. Okay, so when um, the angel Gabriel was in the cave, right, and the revelation yeah. came from a prophet Muhammad was in the cave, peace be upon him, and the revelation came for him to read, right, Ikra, read, right. Okay, yeah. so I help people. Yes, I help people know how to. Uh, by the way, by the way, Felicia, you if, if you want to learn, <laughs> let Sorry, me finish. Sorry. Let me finish. Because... Let me finish. So I help people because I do want to learn. <laughs> I've been studying Arabic, the conversational piece. Um, but I help people know how to trust that inner voice that Allah speaks through them. I help them to know how to trust that. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I tried to tell you if you if you wanna if you wanna um, uh, 